Welcome to Lit Happens, Saskatchewan showcase of the literary talent of the province. We are at on location today at Murdoch in the Midtown Plaza. It is just swell here. I'm having a great time. And I'd like to welcome my guest, Kevin Hastings, to the show. Kevin, welcome back to Lit Happens. Well, thanks, Wes. You're welcome. This is going to be kind of an, an, an unusual episode because you are not a writer, as far as I know, but you are the artist who really recently illustrated my book. Dead Rock Stars, the illustrated edition. So um, this is going to be exciting to talk to you. So I guess my first question is, wh why this book? There was probably a number of books that you've read because you are an avid reader, and that could have inspired you to do a series of drawings. Why mine? As uh, soon as I read the book, and then especially like I was doing a series of drawings of rock stars already. Yeah. So so as soon as I read that, then. There's so many of them that I already wanted to draw that were within the book. Yeah. A and with the chapter titles, it just lent itself very well to illustrating. Uh, the book really just came alive, so yeah. it, it just really drew me to draw it. Yeah. Uh, now, this took, because I know, because I wrote the book, uh, that this took a series of three years for you to do these drawings. Yeah. And so that must have taken you on a journey, because that's quite a big chunk of time. It's a large piece of your life that you spent doing this. W would you say that <clears throat> you went on some kind of a, a sabbatical, some sort of a spiritual tour uh, through the world of rock and roll and, and came out a different person? I don't know if I came out a different person. <laughs> as, as I drew them, I always like to listen to the artist. Yeah. So there's a whole lot of uh, artists that you had chosen within the book that musicians yeah. that I'd never really listened to. And that's what, and, and so that was really interesting. And then there was ones like The Police, whereas I didn't think I really listened to that much. And yeah. then when I listened to it, it's like, oh, I like this song. Oh, I like the, like it was just one after another, right? Like, so. Nice. Yeah. So I educated you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is only a small aspect of, of what you do. Uh, you do a lot of nature drawings and you do a lot of sports figures. Yes. But you do tackle a lot of pop culture themed work. I just want, I guess we want to know why. What is it about rock and roll and pop culture that, that just really grabs you? It's the emotion, it's the intensity. It, it's something that needs to speak to me, right? Like um, right. Uh, Star Wars, it's something that, yeah. that in fires my imagination and I just right. can't help but draw it really. So. Wow. Uh, now you do do the odd portrait you do you have been known to do commission work um i don't know tell me a, a day in the life of kevin hastings what does it all entail right now <laughs> i'm working on a commission of led zeppelin um it's really uh, yeah it, wow. so i'm really looking forward to that one um it, it's a great one with robert plant and and jimmy page together uh, back to back and it, it's just a really awesome shot that we're doing and uh it, he actually was the same person he bought one of the pieces that is featured in the book. He bought Freddie Mercury. Nice. So he's also commissioned me to do Led Zeppelin to complement it. So Nice. Yeah. You've also been known to do uh, iconic Canadian artists like Kim Coates and, and Rick Mercer, and, and there's been some interesting tie-ins tie with that. Can you elaborate on that a bit? Uh, Kim Coates was coming here for a comic convention. Yeah. And it just, uh, I found out a week before, so uh, three late nights and a lot of Red Bull, and <laughs> I, I turned that one out. Yeah. And now uh, Rick Mercer's coming on May 4th, mm -hmm. and so for a Literacy for Life banquet. So I'm going to the Literacy for Life banquet where I drew the piece. They're going to, the person who wins it uh, winds up getting the piece, gets a signing and a photo op with wow. Rick Mercer. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is, is, this, is, this, is the world of art sort of taking you into this new realm that you never thought you'd see yourself in? Like you're meeting some really interesting people and you're, you're hobnobbing with the rich and famous. And <laughs> as, as you've told me before, you never know where once you start following your passion, you never know where it's going to take you at all, right? right. So, uh, it's been a wacky journey for sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you, gave, you did give up a career as a tradesman and you were very good at what you did. So any regrets that way? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Good, I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know we're running out of time, but I do want to get it out to the viewers that you, you are a full-time artist at the moment. You yes. do have originals and prints for sale. You do do the commission work. Uh, uh, what's your website? 
My website is kevin-hastings.ca. Okay. Or you can find me at Art by Kevin Hastings on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you get a hold of me, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Yes, yeah. I happen to know that you're very approachable online, very easy to talk to. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, just before we go, what's in, what does the near little next few months hold for Kevin Hastings? What uh, irons do you have in the fire? The next few months is drawing that Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. um, the next one after that is Marilyn Monroe. Oh. And I'm renovating a church into a house and an art gallery in Vanskoy, so that's taking a lot of time. Yeah. yeah doing a lot of the work <coughs> myself. So. Yeah. yeah. And when are you hoping to have that? Up Hopefully, and running? the end of June will be out in Vanskoy, probably about a year before the art galleries ready well, and going so yeah well that's exciting yeah. well i know we're out of time but i do want to thank you for taking time out of your busy busy world to be here with us and and to f and to help me flog this book a bit <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well thank you for the opportunity yes, Wes. i know we're going to get you on again all right okay <laughs> that's all the time we have today for lit happens if you enjoyed today's segment you can see previous episodes on shaw tv and you can connect with us online on facebook youtube and twitter so I'll see you next time on Lit Happens.